Welcome to Bola Tech Engineering Drawing Channel. In today's video, we are going to be copying the isometric block which we have been given right on the screen here. So first of all, we are going to draw our straight line like this in this manner. Then I'm going to pick my 30-60 degrees S square since it is an isometric block. Then I'm going to draw towards this side first like this. Then construct another line towards this part also like this in this manner. Then I'm going to draw a straight line which is a vertical line at the center like this okay please ensure you are making use of thin line so for this isometric block we are going to be starting from the base we are going to be starting from the base so I'm going to calculate the total length of this particular place which we have been given as 100 so I'm going to pick 100 millimeter on my ruler which is 10 centimeter okay so the total length of this other side is given as 72 so i'm going to pick 72 the 72 millimeter like this at this point okay and the total height we have been given the total height to be 15 15 millimeter so i'm going to pick 15 right on my ruler like this so at that point of 15 millimeter i'm going to draw a straight line like this towards this part a thin line please then at this point i'm going to draw a straight vertical line upward like this then here also i'm going to be doing the same thing i'm going to draw a straight vertical line upward like this then at angle 30 degree i'm going to draw Eighteen line like this okay so now i'm going to be joining these two points together so it's going to be in this manner like this and then and then like this okay so now we are going to be drawing these two openings here which are right in this place and we have been given the height to be eight millimeter eight millimeter height so i'm going to measure eight millimeter from this point 8 millimeter like this this is 8 millimeter like this so i'm going to measure 8 millimeter right here now we have been given the length of this place to be 25 from year to year is 25 so i'm going to mark 25 millimeter like this then from year to year also is 25 so i'm going to mark 25 millimeter at this point also like this so at that point at which 25 millimeter is stopping i'm going to draw a straight line like this at this point here like this and like this okay then using this eight millimeter which we have picked here i'm going to join those two points together okay let me let me erase these ss lines okay so that's that for that now we are going to draw this other part also this other part i'm going to pick 21 and 21 as shown 21 millimeter so i'm going to pick 21 millimeter to this side then i'll pick another 21 millimeter to this side also like this okay so at those points i'm going to draw a straight vertical line upward like this then like this also then making use of this eight which you have picked here i'm going to join these two points together like this okay so we are done with drawing the down parts let me erase this place I'm going to erase this place like this Okay, so this is the down part now what we are going to do next is to draw the up part in order for us to be able to draw the up part we have to get the center we have to get the center we have been given the length of this place to be 100 right so we are going to pick 50 millimeter 50 millimeter first yeah then we have been given the total length of this place to be 72 so i'm going to pick 36 36 millimeter at this point also like this okay 36 millimeter so at those points i'm going to draw a center line 
like this in this manner okay at this point then at this point also where this 36 i picked is stopping i'm going to draw a center line also since we are actually drawing a circular object up okay so now we have been given the radius of this circle yeah this o here to be 25 millimeter so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter to my left hand side and my right hand side 25 millimeter so it's going to be like this 25 to this point then 25 like this then i'm going to do the same also to this particular point also like this this is 25 then this is also 25 right here so i'm going to draw my my box which is going to be like a parallelogram ensure you are making use of a thin line please to draw these things ensure you are making use of a thin line so it's going to be like this extend this a little bit this okay so now in order to draw this curve which is down here this first curve is what we are going to be drawing now to draw it we are going to pick our ruler and mark the longest diagonal that is the longest part these two parts i'm going to mark the longest part and draw a straight line like this in this manner so after drawing this straight line which is right here i'm going to pick my compass place it at this point here then extend it to this edge which is right in this place then i'm going to draw like this i'm going to draw a curve like this now we are going to be drawing other curves which are right at this part and at this part so i'm going to pick my ruler from this point here which is here to this edge here i'm going to draw a, a straight line then i'll do exactly the same thing too from this point to this particular place here i'm going to be drawing a straight line like this okay so at that point which this straight line meets with this diagonal line which we have drawn i'm going to place my compass right there at that point then i'll draw an arc like this from here stopping at stopping at this line here I'm going to draw an arc then i'll place it at this point also like this and do the same which it is going to be stopping right in this place okay so that's that for the down which this particular place that's that for the down now we are we have been given the height of this cylindrical holo here to be of 30 millimeter 30 millimeter so i'm going to place my set square right at this point we are going to be lifting it i then i'll do exactly the same for the four edges ensure you are making use of thin lines please to do that place it at this point also then at this point also okay so we have been given the height to be of 30 millimeter so 30 millimeter height this is 30 millimeter here yeah? So I'm going to join the four points together like this, like this, like this, okay, so this is actually what we are given now we have been given another circle at the top so we are going to be doing exactly what we did at the bottom too at the top first of all that's for the bigger the bigger circle that's what we are going to be doing we are going to join the diagonals together the longest side together like this then we are going to be dividing this into equal parts like this the total length is 50 so i'm going to pick 0.25 here and this place also 25 okay 
so at those point of 25 i'm going to draw my line like this and draw another line like this okay so the lines are a bit mushed but just follow it step by step that's why i'm making use of thin lines so at this point here i'm going to extend my compass to this point which is right here then i would i'll draw my curve like this okay let me leave it here as point a1 and this place as point a0 like this this is b0 and b1 just to know those points because the points are a bit much so at this point here this particular point here just like the way we did for the front one i'm going to pick my ruler and join from here to this particular place like this then do the same thing from here also i'm going to be joining to points a1 also like this okay so making use of my compass i'm going to place it at this point like this then draw like this then place it at this point also and draw like this okay in this manner now we can join these two points together for a start let's join these two points together like this and join these two points together like this okay so now we have also been given a covering here also at the other part a covering at the other part so we made use of this place to draw this part so we are going to be making use of this place now to draw the other part so first of all i'm going to place my compass right here okay extend it to this edge here then i will draw my curve like this okay then place my ruler from this part to this edge here from this part to this edge here like this let me label here as c1 and this part as d1 okay from this part to c1 and from this part also to d1 like this okay so at this point where this line is meeting with this diagonal line and at this point where this line is meeting i'm going to place my compass there like this then i'll draw an arc like this okay then at this point also i'll draw an arc also like this which is going to be in this manner okay so that's that for the bigger circle which is up now we are going to be drawing the inner circle we have been given the inner circle to be of radius of 18 millimeter of radius of 18 millimeter so in use of point a1 c1 and b1 d1 we have been given a radius of 18 so i'm going to pick 18 millimeter to my right hand side from this point this is the center point right here so i'm going to pick 18 to my right hand side like this 18 to my right hand side then 18 millimeter also to my left hand side like this this is 18 millimeter to my left hand side so i'm going to do exactly the same also 18 millimeter this is it to my right hand side then 18 to my left okay so at those points let me label here a2 b2 then c2 then d2 okay so i'm going to join those points together i'm going to join those points together like this like this make use of thin line i'm going to join this also like this then ensure you are making use of thin lines please then i'll make this also this point here like this 
then c2 here i'm going to join it with this point here okay so now we have been given a circle so we are going to be drawing the circle first of all i'm going to place my compass at this edge here the edge here just like the way we did for the top one and extend it to point d2 c2 like this i'll extend it to point d2 c2 then i'll draw my arc in this manner like this okay i'll draw my arc in this manner then i'll place it at point this point here this edge here extend it to a2 a2 b2 and draw an arc like this okay and draw an arc like this in this manner then we are to draw the curves which are right in this place so from this point here i'm going to draw a straight line to point d2 from this point here i'm going to draw a straight line to point d2 like this so we are going to mark this point here ensure let me asterisk it like this then from this point also i'll draw a line to point c2 like this so i'll asterisk this point also this is the point at which the line is meeting with the this diagonal line we drew here okay so at that point at which i asterisk you are not to asterisk it in your work i'm just asterisking it because i'm using it to explain so i'll place it at a2 from this point i'll place it at a2 then i'll draw the curve like this okay then at this point also i'll place it at b2 point b2 here then i'll draw the curve this is the curve here joining it together okay so that's the inner curve which is right here and we have also been given another curve in this particular place they said it is 12 millimeter 12 millimeter deep so now this depth which we have been given which is 12 millimeter from this point here this point here i'm going to pick 12 millimeter 12 millimeter which is going to be this point here i'm going to use a plus for this particular point of 12 millimeter you are not to do that on your book i'm just doing it so you'll be able to see it then i'll place my compass from this particular point here because it is also having the same line they are on is on the same line with this inner radius of 18 so i'm going to place my compass from this point this particular point here like this then extend it to this 12 millimeter depth then i'll draw an arc like this in this manner so in case if you are having problem with this particular block this particular block in getting the isometric of the circle you can click the video right on the screen i will be explaining better there in that particular video which i singled out the block i'll explain better right in that particular video and i'll also be dropping the link of the video in the description so now what we are going to do is to thicken out the other needed parts and leave the construction line as faint. Thanks for watching. Peace.